Yes. Are we coming back in again with it? Okay. Yes. I definitely yes. love it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I love all the excitement, everybody. We are so back right when the house. Look right at that there. muscle with Miss right Steph. There, folks. <laughs> you know, I just speak of that. Let's just go straight in there. We're gonna we're gonna roll around because that is a nice little bicep that you formed. Now it is nice. I re it? I've read that you've been working out with the same trainer mm. for the last ten years. Oh, oh no, no, not no? ten. Like fifteen. So oh well. like that really oh, is a huge wow. difference. But <laughs> no, not ten. Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, how? Because I mean, I, I know it's so oh, important, and so Mark many people Holman. don't. And I told right. him to get on Twitter. I was like, Mark, why? Oh, yeah, Mark Holman. Mark He's Holman. amazing. How'd you meet he'll, this guy? He'll be on Twitter soon. Right. How did you? How did uh, well, you bump into him? And I was connect? I was training with somebody else at the gym. Right. And this trainer would would tell me about her pro this is so funny she'd tell me about her problems all the time and i'm like fixing them and stuff and i was like oh god i'm just so stressed going to the gym this this bitch won't stop going on about her problems so um uh anyway so i uh saw him like like i was um you know uh, around go running around the reservoir right 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 you know the reservoir up okay. in hollywood right 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 and right. and then i saw him and his twin brother oh wow and they they slipped me their card and he's uh, i i going to the gym honestly is a such a fun experience yes. because i love him so much we talk about sports mm. all the trainers that are at the gym are so cool right, right everybody's right. um you know happy happy you know <laughs> That, that's a good thing. I'm a dual certified trainer, so I used to train. I don't train as so much anymore. So you know the fitness factory. I, I totally understand. That's where I work out. Oh, yeah, the fitness factory. Okay. Yeah, it used to be the workout warehouse. Remember? Oh, wow. So now how's the equipment in there? Like Good. Good? Yeah, it's old school. Yeah, well, it's not like funky old, but it's just, you know, it's it's good stuff. So now are you one of those type that's going to be working out until the day that you die? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, because I'm really active. Right, right, right. Yeah. What other sports do Nancy you Nancy Lee Ground is watching, by the way. Nancy Lee Ground. Hey, how you doing? On, on General Hospital, <laughs> oh, plays wow. Alexis. Definitely. She What's told up? me on Twitter that she's going to tune in. Definitely. Nancy. We appreciate you for tuning in. So we want to just take you back. I know when you first got started in the situation, I know when I was listening to, and we're going to go into your Emmy situation, you had made a comment on that. Oh, talking about um, all the kids out there that may be different oh. and the parents you know really taking mm -hmm. that time to stick in there because i'm mm -hmm. seeing where this heart comes in and that's where i mm -hmm. want to pull where those heart strings are oh, okay now you you mentioned are you that. gonna make me cry possibly it's okay. gonna be real tears right not, oh no not, i don't do fake no. tears <laughs> no i don't do that don't do fake tears right right Just put a little bit in there little eye drops so Take me. So, what what inspired that? Like, were you the the weird kid that was different? Like, what inspired that from you on that I, speech? Um, I don't. I not a lot of people saw me as weird. Like, I tried to fit in, and because I I really like people. Um, uh, my nature is to be very outgoing, and and I I like. I like people. <laughs> That's you know, a good some thing. people don't. Some people don't like people. That's true. Yeah. I know a lot of them. And I really, <laughs> and I really like. I, I like. Um, uh, you know. So I was very. I was very outgoing and vivacious. And and and. But I. I. I didn't feel like I. I fit in. I didn't. I don't uh, beat to the 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 like middle class drum. Right. 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 You right, know. Right, right. I do my own vibe. I. Um, my mom really um, pushed creativity mm. growing up. That that was the most important thing. God bless her. You yeah. know, thank God. Um, right. And and being different. You mm. know, thinking differently. Think having an artistic mind. Mm. Thinking creatively is not really. Um, it's not encouraged in school. Right. That's you true. You know, like being, you know, going the being you know mediocre and and you know typical is is sort of what's what's you know um oh god why it's sunday you guys i'm a little slow oh it's okay it's what is encouraged it's, and it's what's right. uh you know praised you're right you know average and that's why you have so many uh, and i look at this the economy our, our, our young folks don't have any intention they just go get a job they go to work they don't have any intentions for anything greater because it's not being put in yeah and they don't have the parents doing it well, also in the in arts being, you know, just taken out of so many schools. Right. That's yeah. what I was and just thinking. It, for sure. And, you know, school. you know, statistically, when when kids are have art in in the school, in the curriculum, um, they do better in their other classes. Statistically. I agree. This I is agree. A, this is true. I, I this is true. This is true. They've done studies. I definitely agree with that. So so, you know, it, it, you know, to get 
rid of that, it's like this. It, it just that the kids do better, mm-hmm. and to get rid of it is a is a crime. Yeah, and it's it, it, taking away a lot of their confidence because art and and that learns them how to become great actors in, in whatever field they go in. Yeah, starting off young. And really, there's art in any field you That's do. There's, if you're an attorney, yeah. there's art in how you win. There's mm-hmm. art yeah. in in any single field. I agree. I yeah. definitely agree to that. So now, what? Going going into, I know I, I read some things too, and there are a lot of things I'm gonna say I read. You got into the modeling phase, so how did that encourage you? When you looked in the mirror and said you were different, because I did the modeling thing. I was with did you? Uh, Elite Model Management out of ooh, Atlanta. Did the whole ooh. Fashion Week in New York back in the day. Back in the but day. But what inspired you? Because I know being young and sometimes we look different, and going through the nose and the objection. What made you decide to keep going? Oh well, what are you gonna do? You know, if you, what are you going to do? Stop? Some people do. You can't go. Yeah, you shouldn't. No, no. I put, I tweeted something the other day. I had a moment of, um, of being wise. Okay. And, um, being wise? Yeah, I did have a moment. (laughs) And I tweeted, um, uh, there's no such thing as failure. You just gave up too soon. That is, I agree with that. Oh, that, that's, that's a good quote. That, that's Very wise, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's definitely. I came up with that. I, I didn't read it anywhere. Original that's Original Fresh Off the Press. Mm, mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> and then I, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. But it's just, I, I know that from experience, you, know, you can you can say, oh, I just, I failed at that, but you maybe you just didn't do it long enough. I mean, right. you know, we kind of live in a society of, of if you don't, if you don't get it quick you know it it's not your meant to be yours i mean right. it's like what, what you know well all, all marriages are easy no they're not that's true you know you, you got a man and a woman who think so differently and you're living together <laughs> that's a tough gig man that's a tough gig just that alone yeah you know so yeah it takes some some work things take work that's true now as the process i was also reading that you had went through an illness during that time frame mm-hmm. now i just know from experience i had a, a best friend that had went through terminal cancer four times had brain cancer surgeries oh. and all kind of things i mean he's wow. still alive he's a soldier wow. healed from all yeah, of it he is. i kind of believe he's a testimony to do more yeah, and to talk about yeah. it because it came back four times that's phenomenal. but you went through your situation being young, and how did you stay motivated and in there? I remember, was it something forming on your brain eye? Tumor. Brain tumor. Yeah, how, I had a brain tumor. It wasn't you, malignant, though. Yeah? It wasn't cancerous. So it wasn't cancerous, so no, that's a good thing. that's a huge difference. Right. You know, I had a brain tumor that was benign. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, right, Granny? I mean, it wasn't, <laughs> <Yes>. it wasn't <laughs> cancer. <so> <laughs> oh, but you still have to have faith and in, 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 uh, uh, inner courage, even to go through it, because just realizing and finding out if it's benign or not can take you through a lot of changes. Yeah. You have to be very strong. Yes. It did. It, was, it wasn't, you know, actually at the time when I would think I was 18 or 19, but it wasn't really scary. It was very scary to my parents, but it wasn't so much scary to me until they were wheeling me to the operating room. Oh, wow. Then I was like, Ugh. So did you have to have, you actually had to have the surgery? Yeah, I had to... bra- a brain surgery. Yeah, I oh, had it taken out. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I had it taken out. How did you feel before that? I know you was like, ugh, but like going in, like were you like shitting bricks? I mean, like. Well, no, I wasn't until they were wheeling me to the operating so literally, room. literally like. And I was just like, <laughs> but you know, and I got this. I, I got this. Yeah, right. And I got this thought. You know, because there were windows as they were wheeling me, and I could see the outside, and it was a really pretty day in Los Angeles. And I thought to myself, you know, wow, other people are doing things, and they're tripping on things, right? right. And here I am going in for brain surgery. Right. And and other people have their lives. And I thought to myself, uh, you know, that you, you nothing is worse than this. Hmm. I just thought to myself, nothing is worse than than what you are feeling right now. Nothing will ever be worse than this. And I, I remember wanting to remember the feeling hmm. so that I would know that nothing was worse. And of course I forgot the feeling. <laughs> But that's a testimony. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, and I was I'm tripping on like not finding the right pair of shoes two <laughs> two years later. You know, what a loser. You know? But that but is I a think, good thing. But I think what reiterated that thought mm-hmm. um re- a few years ago i i went through this whole thing to get a child right mm. and that was three and a half years of freaking hell and and that then that like that i've never worked for anything so hard in my life ever wow. ever 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 and wow. um and you know and i do have a beautiful two-year-old daughter. i i i read so we're gonna go in that but when you say but go ahead i don't want to uh, yeah yeah we're, we're gonna no no 
<laughs> I, Michelle, definitely not. <laughs> Everything you're saying is definitely mm-hmm. great because we're talking about you. So yeah. I definitely oh, appreciate well, that. No, it's so, then, so about on. you. <laughs> but, you know, even speaking of that, when you say hell, and we're going to go back to that, I know you did the, uh, you know, hell, explain. You want to get a child. I'm guessing you weren't able to have them on your own. Well, I was or? a single. I was a single person okay. trying to do it. So I, I started with adoption. Right. And um and that just was going really slow. Now that didn't have anything to do with the marriage thing because of the single. You know, two people living together. You you know you made that comment about the marriage. So that's not the single. No no no. no. I I'm a big <laughs> fan of marriage. I right. think marriage is awesome. Okay. Um, but uh, you know, I was I wanted a kid. Right. And I what and I wasn't gonna be like, hi hi Michelle. Uh, Joe, you, you want to get married? Because I want kids. Okay, cool. Let's do it. You know, I wasn't going to do that. Right. You know? And I thought, okay, the man will come and, you know, I'll just go adopt a child. I thought, you know, adoption was great, mm-hmm. uh, which I still do. And um, so, you know, it took, a, a, it, it was just, it didn't go as smooth as I thought. Right. Right. And then I thought, well, how hard can this be? I'll just try it on my own. And so I had some, you know, physical problems and, you know, all this stuff, uh, uh, just a mound, a mound of physical problems. And and then tried tried to have a baby on my own and adopt at the same time. And I figured whatever comes first right. is what I'll do. <laughs> right, put both of them in there right? and see what yeah, happens. Yeah, let's, let's like, oh, I just want a baby. You right. Know? I, and um, so I ended up um, uh, then hiring a surrogate. Uh, to to carry my child too, and I, I still was like, but cool if a, a baby comes in, and then and then this is actually a very cool story. Yeah, go my, ahead. my surrogate was pregnant with my child, um, and a surrogate is like when somebody else carries your baby, folks. Right, that's okay. how. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now is a lot that of with don't know. your egg? my my uh, my egg? So your egg, okay, okay, and okay. she's carrying it in her body, and um, and then I she was I think four months pregnant. And a baby came to me. My friend's um, uh, niece, my grandniece, mm-hmm. had a baby and hadn't told her parents, right? And just had a baby in, in their house. like. And she said, I, I have your baby. And my friend was, uh, it makes me cry. It's so sweet. My friend was waiting for a little boy. Uh-huh. And I said, I... I can't take the baby because my my surrogate is pregnant. I, I just I can't now take all these babies, you know. Like I, I like I, yeah. so so I called my friend and I was like, I found your baby. This baby came to me, but this is your baby. Oh, so you found someone she, else? Or? Yeah. And then she went and and it, and the little baby is hers. Oh now. wow! And he's two and a half. So another blessing it, came it really, out for even you to really even be beautiful. able to bless someone else. Yeah, exactly. Right. That is awesome. It was, oh, it's really yeah. cool how it comes through. You know, it's really yes. really cool. That is definitely awesome. So, what inspires you? What inspired you before being a mom and now being a mom? What is the difference? Oh, it's really a huge difference. And people ask me this when my daughter Natalia, her name's Natalia. Oh, Natalia. Yeah. That's my cousin's name. My cousin's oh, name really? Natalia. Oh, yes, cool. definitely. Uh, oh, <laughs> Great cool. name. Yeah, I love it. She calls yes. herself Talia because she can't say Natalia. <laughs> she hasn't got that. She says yet. Talia, um, but which is pretty too. But uh, she, you know, in the beginning, people go, oh, you know, isn't it great to be a mom? And she was four months old, right? Right. And I'm just think, and I'm like, yeah, it's great, you know, but, but I, it wasn't, it wasn't, I, I didn't feel anything different, you know, because mm. they kind of don't do anything, you know, <laughs> granny, right? You know, yeah. in the beginning, they don't do anything, you know, and you're like, you're going, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, anything. And then they give you a half smell and you're like, oh, oh, oh you know, Real and it's great. just, <laughs> They, you know, and you're cleaning their poops and you're, they're puking on you all the time. Mm-hmm. And, and you're exactly. Right. And that's what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And it's a beautiful thing, but I was sort of like, uh, it's great. But now through, you know, going through all of that and she's two, it's really amazing. And now I know the thing is, is it makes, I cry again, I'm an idiot, <laughs> but it makes everything in your life deeper worthwhile deeper mm, yeah. yeah right Great. deeper <laughs> and richer richer and mm. deeper every your your viewpoint toward everything in your life is richer hmm. that's that's really the best way i can describe it a every different focus right right a different focus and like when you see something and you see another person i always get like well but that's somebody's daughter she's somebody's mom right you know right um just everything in life is richer hmm so 
getting 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 granny back, agrees granny you agree Yes. yes. Oh, definitely mm. so. Oh, Granny, yes. She's you been an amazing mother. Oh, you, you had thank you had thinking for another person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, mm -hmm. all your selfishness from yourself goes away. You know. This oh is yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what? And even if you don't want it to go away, man, it goes away. Yeah. You just it don't does. have any focus on yourself. So now, was it's it the fun. same kind of experience knowing that, I mean, I know it was your egg, but was it the same bonding experience knowing that you didn't carry the child? With the baby, you with mean? The bear, with the baby, correct. Knowing that you didn't carry the child. How was that it, getting... Well, it's, it's, di I, I, it's different because I didn't carry the child, so I don't even, I've never been pregnant, so I don't know what that, that is, like, right. right? I don't know it. Mm -hmm. So I just know my experience, which is... Um, I mean, it, it was just me and her, so Love that's a very, sight. very, sp not really. <laughs> I, I got to be honest. That's that's kind of what I was saying, like, because you I know. I got to be honest. But, you know, a lot of women who carry their babies don't feel that either. Yeah, that's they right. They don't. don't right. Yeah, they're like, what? Huh? Who is this? You know? Wow. So it wasn't like, yeah. But when I saw her, I was just sort of like. Oh, okay. This is it. You know, like I, you know, and it's built up so much, and you hear all these people going, "Oh, the minute I saw my life change," and the <laughs> angels saying, and I'm, I'm waiting for that. For the angels to say. And the angels, <laughs> oh. And the angels. And, and I was just sort of like, okay, but um, yeah, but it was a, you know, the whole, the whole, my whole situation. I was just like, for three years, I was like wrapped around a tree. It was a very, very, very tense thing. It was very, very intense. And and also, I had a very, you know, you have a woman carrying your baby. Right. So you're taking care of her, too. Right. Well, that's true. And motherhood started for me the minute I decided to have a kid. Wow. It started from, it starts for, uh, parenthood starts the minute you decide. Hmm. Because in any way you do it, adoption, um, you know, and, it, and it's a beautiful thing with adoption, too, because when you adopt, you're, you're taking care of that birth mother. Right. You're taking care of that woman. Hmm. You know, it's it's a you talk to these people. It's it's a very special, it's a very special special relationship you have. Now, how do you identify? And I know we're going and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna mold a little I know bit. People <laughs> on Twitter must be like, "This is boring." <laughs> Tell me about Phil's no. Nick. No, no, but so what is it people. like to kiss Nick? <laughs> it's really nice, girls. <laughs> After Buzz TV exclusive. <laughs> We're going to get into the meat of things and how you approach your character. But just one more thing, you know, like you were saying, you know, uh, you were getting ready to actually finish a thought before I we was. went into the kiss of Nick. Oh, no. You were going to finish a thought. But oh, it's we, a very special relationship, I think. I yes, saw, uh, yeah. very special relationship. Now, do you feel that you would have done something different, like or, or, like when you were younger in your early 20s, if you would have had kids? You'd like been, I would have gone to a bar and gotten knocked up like earlier? Especially doing it then and then doing it now. How's that been? Or, I know... Uh, you know, it's sort of it's it's both. It's like I I've made the joke when when my child when I was you know not sleeping at night. Right. I made the joke to all my friends that it's a young woman's game. Hmm. Having little babies is a young woman's <laughs> game. It's a young um, granny. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sure. It's a young it, woman's right, game, girl. And I think that's mm. why they sent us grannies. Yeah, it is. The, you. <laughs> You go through a lot of changes, and uh, it, some, it, it's a joy. Having children is a joy. It's a blessing. But um, the body gets tired. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a young woman's game, but you're wise. You're wiser. I would have been a horrible mother in my 20s. Wow. Horrible. But, um, of course, you know, physically, you're younger, and, you you know, you it's just easier to get pregnant. And I'm sure that... Um, you know that it would have been easier for me in my 20s and 30s definitely so now we're just gonna 30s, go 30s just you know early 30s early 30s right but the thing about I'm, it is I'm obviously in my 40s but you hell? look great no one would have been able to tell and i give props to the trainer and then of course to your motivation because my mind goes the body follows so you've definitely kept your mind in place i keep young in my yeah. head and i don't drink i don't smoke oh that's great yeah, yeah. yeah. keep going to the gym and you keep, the gym. keep looking young so now we're going to go into the character Phyllis. And now we're going to just approach you now the auditioning process. I want you to just take us back to 93, early 94. When you went in, I know you were on a couple of other shows before that thing took place. Now, really quick, too. I remember seeing you one on a Wii documentary on, uh, um, what was it called? Uh, I have the name of it, but it was a documentary talking about pot smoking, marijuana. Um, 
Oh, and it was like the, a funny. It was a funny yes. skit that you came in and you played. It was played. called a potumentary. Yes, a potumentary. You met, yeah, and right. I, I played like this this um, volume taking yes. woman who uh, who was yelling at her son for smoking pot. Yes, yes, yes. She's yes, like yes, popping yes. like Adderall and Prozac yes, yes, and yes, yes. Xanax and Valium. She's like, you shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> right. Very interesting. Character. When I looked at that documentary, I said, Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, that was funny. That was fun. Definitely. Was funny. So take us to audition process. Young and the Restless. You're, you're looking for work. I know you're grinding. You're hustling. You got to get something. This was supposed to be a role that wasn't supposed to be there that long, and you changed it into yeah, something more. Yeah, right. It was recurring. Right. So how and did that go? They liked it. I think Bill Bell just liked the character. Yeah. You know, he was he was a genius. But you you <laughs> took it genius, there. He's a genius. Clearly. I mean, that um, time you went from being sane to psycho, kinda. Yeah, like she was eerie, crazy. Like she's crazy, and she and and she used sex uh, to get what she wanted. Right. You know, um, and uh, yeah, audition. I just, yeah, the audition was really fun. I, I auditioned and I figured I didn't know anything about the show. I just knew that it was the pretty blonde person who's Laura Lee Bell right. and um, Michael Damien. I knew who he was. And I figured, I didn't know much about their characters, but I figured in order for him to, to leave her, she, uh, he would have had to be manipulated by another woman. So Ooh. I went like full on sex. Like he would have had to be just totally like like uh, just um manipulated right 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 sexually hmm. and that's that's how i played it just that's like, how you played it mm -hmm. so you went that way so as you started developing the character and you're starting to hear the response and see the response of people liking your character how did that do for you like knowing that people were actually accepting you knowing that it was supposed to be a a role that would have been short-lived but now they're talking people are accepting it you know you know what i that? kind of knew you know watching soap operas when i was younger right i kind of knew that they would like a, that people would like this character i kind of yeah. knew you know because i loved delia on ryan's hope right right and right. it was a character well it wasn't similar to her it ended up being similar later on but mm -hmm. um i i know that people like to see those kind of triangles you right. know so i knew it bring a lot of spice in yeah it. <laughs> it brings some spice right? right right and i knew that people would dig it i knew uh, yeah. uh, how long it lasted i didn't know but i knew people would probably like it so what are yeah. your what how do you approach your character like when you're when you're sitting back and because your character has changed so many times and i know with television you know sometimes they'll throw you the strip that last minute and your, your your character so you went from this one and then you've been on all these years and it's molded how is that when they say, okay, now we're changing you, or do you change you? How does that work? Um, no one ever says we're going to change your character. Okay. They don't ever say that. But sometimes you'll get new writers come in, and they have a different viewpoint of how your character goes. Oh. You know, they they um, don't either. They don't know the history of your character as well as you do or the viewers do. Mm -hmm. um, but but they yeah they just uh, it, it's. It's, you know, a lot of times different writers mm -hmm. or a lot of times different types of storylines change the character, too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Definitely. But it speaks to you being a very good actress because you can go with the flow. Yes. Uh, thank flow you. Go into the different writers what they're saying. Thank you. And still be Phyllis. Yeah, and still be Phyllis. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, they're, I mean, the writers are pretty, they, they, yes. they usually, oh, they man. always yeah. go Phyllis, you know, they always yeah. they do that. They take you there. Very so, good. Your first <laughs> Emmy, you. your first Emmy, you didn't expect to win for Support and Actress. So I, I just want to know, you're sitting there, of course you know you have a nomination. You're sitting in the seat. They're talking. <laughs> I know we, we watch. So they're, they're, what are you thinking when you're hearing all the nominations go around and everybody's pictures being played in that little dark time where the movie's playing? And they haven't announced it. First time. And it's like the first time. Yeah. What are you thinking? Because you were truly excited that first time. Like, oh my God. Like you were <laughs> I, you I no, because I didn't think I was gonna win because I was off the show. I was off of it. Oh I had left, you know, because I was on for two years, then I was off for three, and then I went back I've been back on for, for twelve. So you won when you were off. Yeah, well, yeah, I I had just left. I had left like four months earlier. Right, right, the right. The show, so it was for the year before. Right, right. But um, it was for all my work the year before. Right, but right, I right. had already left, so I just didn't think that anyone was gonna vote for me. I didn't. Wow. I I just figured that it was like, oh, she's off. We don't we don't want her. Right. So even though I was nominated while I was still on the show ish. You know, I had just left. So, um, so I didn't, yeah, I didn't think I was going to win at all. So you win. 
Mm -hmm. Now, as you're walking to the city, you hear your name. I mean, I know you're probably not thinking, but if you can recall that time, what's what are you thinking? I, I do recall that because it's really sweet because yeah. it's the first time, right? right? And and I remember him saying, Monsieur, <laughs> that Monsieur, and I was like, and I I just remember I was just sort of like, you know, Is that and, me? Is yeah, me? right. And yes. I was just sort of I, I didn't have anything prepared. I I was almost a little like 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 bummed out being there because I'm wow. like. Because I'm like, what am I here for? I'm not going to win. This is kind of silly. But I was, I was there for respect for right, the medium, right? You know, cool. and um, and respect for the show. So, but I just kind of felt like, what am I silly? What am I doing here? Right. So it was really a shock. Definitely it was truly a, shock. a shock. So now you win. It's over. Like you're in the back and you're you're taking this all in. What different? I had about a moment with Oprah after that. Did too. you really? I did. Tell I had a moment with Oprah. Oprah moment, our, the Oprah own show. I, I had the show two. Next. I had two moments with Oprah. Tell actually. me your own moment. Your own moment. Tell me. I okay, hear it. my first moment with Oprah was the Emmys. Before this, I was nominated, okay. right? And it was I was sitting on the end. It was my mom next to me. It was my stepfather, and then it was Stedman. Then it was Oprah. Oh, hello. Wow. <laughs> I was just. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, we're next to Stedman and Oprah. That's, it was And, and Michelle, crazy. allow me to share this with you. Please. Uh, my hometown in Mississippi is 35 miles from where Oprah was born. Oh yeah, so you Cabiesco. know. We yes. passed through there going home. Nice. Is it nice? Is it nice? It's Mississippi. Oh, well, you know, it's just a little country town. Oh, and, you know, those it, are nice. It, it, I like that. I like that. Really love, but it's just the thought that, that, course, that natural, this I is where she came from, right? Oprah, right? But um, it's like um, that's where she came the from. Thought that we, uh, when we get to a Casiesco, we like, oh, we can thumb our way home if something happens to the car. Yeah. <laughs> that, oh, okay. So okay. Back. Yeah, it's that close. So now you're sitting yes. in the same row. We're sitting in the same row with Oprah, and then um, Erica Slezak one best actress right and i get it was a year that a lot of people thought susan lucci was going to win and and then people started booing up no. in, it was so rude up oh. in the balcony they started booing what? it was really like she was up there and people were booing and i was just appalled and and i i turned i i did this i was like Look back, you know, like you're you're sitting in the right, chair, right, you right. Like you this. look like who is? And so yeah. did Oprah. Oprah did the same thing at the same time. We both went like this. Like I didn't see her do it. We both <laughs> went like that, and then and then we stopped and looked at each other, like, like, like that. Right. Like, can you believe that people are that rude? We just right. looked at each other, like, and then and and I was like, I just shared a moment. With Oprah, you shared a verbal cut. I know, like I, I yeah, like you like did it. what that, that, like what people are doing that, and then, and then uh, the year I won, you know, I did all my interviews in the back, and then I came, I was about to come out to my seat, and I came out through one of the areas, and Oprah was standing there, what? and and I was like standing behind her, I didn't know it was her, okay, and then she looked back and she smiled, and I oh oh hi. And then she said, congratulations. And I said, oh, thank you. And then her show, her show won, but she didn't, she didn't accept the award. Her, her producers did. Right. They get up and then, and then I went, oh, congratulations to you. And she went, oh, thank you. Right. Well, you got your Oprah moment. I liked the first moment though. How did it feel? Did you feel like yeah. energy come from her? Well, uh, you know, we both thought it was wrong that the, oh, energy. Like, like being oh, around you know, her, like on. when you, She's you know. Oprah. Right, like does you know it... what? But then she became really powerful af after because that was in ninety seven. Seven, right? Yeah, and and like her big like time was before that, definitely. But I think in in like ninety nine after she won the Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah, really... ninety nine, two thousand. Right, like she really expanded. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, but yeah, I mean she's she's a very smart woman. Right. Definitely, yeah. and I, what I love where and she's very going. direct and very focused and very direct, getting and very her message smart. across. Mm. I think right now she, everybody has a purpose, and hers is showing people how to live their best life from what she's done, and she's really expanding that purpose. And so, I guess my question to you now is, how do you live your best life? How, how every day when you get up, how are you living your best life? I think that it's important to to always do what you want to do and not what you feel. Uh, 
you should do just for a paycheck. Hmm. I you agree. Know? Um, I know it's very hard to say because people have kids and you become, but but live your life um, <clears throat> the way you would want to live it mm. and and have the courage to do so. Right. That's, I, I think that's, a, I mean, you know, that's a, a thing also that Oprah would say too, you know, right, I mean, right, you right. gotta, gotta um, do what you want to do. Yeah, 